the video of the deputy slamming the elderly black lady to the ground in front of a grocery store has been released by the sheriff department. People are planning on protesting and the cops are pretty much afraid to do anything uh, about the cop because, you know, cops love to protect cops, especially the violent ones because they're all trash. Test is planned today outside a Lancaster grocery store. That's where an incident took place involving LA County Sheriff's deputies and a couple. The deputies are accused of using excessive force to detain the husband and wife. KTLA's Gene Kang is live in Lancaster. I mean, all you gotta do is watch the video. There's no accusation. It's proven. He's on video uh, assaulting a woman. If this was uh, the other way around and she started assaulting the cops, she would be in jail awaiting trial, just like this cop should be in jail awaiting trial. Uh, enough is enough of uh, giving cops special treatment. And Castor with the body cam video, Gene. Good morning. That protest will be happening in a matter of hours at this grocery store in Lancaster. This group of community activists and pastors, they're going to be gathering. They are demanding change and justice for a husband and wife. They claim that there was brutal force happen right in front of that grocery store where we are live this morning. We warn you, some of this video is considered troubling to a lot of people. Take a look. What's going on, dude? He got the camera, bro. He come up with me. All right. Right? Just relax. Just gonna pat you down, buddy. Gonna you down. I don't have nothing. Okay, there was weapons. We don't know that. Man, right. I don't have nothing, okay, bro. I'm about to pack the cigarettes. See, they're going to... Right. Now what? That's I'm not even being resistant. That's why I So, because he's black, they wanted to detain and arrest him over the claims of him stealing a cake or something? That is really ridiculous. They didn't even ask to see his receipt or anything of the sort. If he was white, they would have done that. As you see right there, this body cam video from the Sheriff's Department shows a deputy putting a man in handcuffs in the parking lot of Winco Foods here in Lancaster. Activists say the video shows the older man sitting calmly on a shopping cart railing in the parking lot a week ago on Saturday before deputies then surrounded him. Seconds later, a deputy approaches his wife. The husband says in the video that she has cancer and not to harm her. And the cop doesn't even, you know, try talking to the wife. All he does is attack her uh, the moment he feels like uh, the husband is secured with handcuffs. He is a true monster, though. I mean, as you know, most cops are domestic abusers and him beating women is uh, being, you know, black woman is his way of being able to release his hatred uh, of women uh, against the citizens. Then there's this. Take a look. No, you can't touch Stop. me. You can't touch Stop. me. Yeah, no, hey, uh, we got report of uh, you and your husband matching this description. Uh, there was a report of shoplifting. Can we see your receipts or anything like that? No, it's just uh, instant attack and throwing her to the ground. Uh, this dude is honestly trash. And the, the, this guy is the type of people that are routinely uh, recruited to the police force and looked for. They want people that will be violent and willing to murder. Get down on the ground. You... Get on the ground. It's already on YouTube Stop. Live. I don't get... Stop. 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 Stop and get punched in the you face. You punch me and you're gonna, you're gonna get so... Uh, he, the next step to him punching her in the face would be murder if he got frustrated enough. Cops just love to murder people instead of actually dealing with people, especially when they're black, because cops love to see black people die. Oh, you are 
ready to go soon. I got it on camera. More body cam video from that day, June 24th, at the grocery store on West Avenue K4. The department says deputies responded to reports of an alleged robbery. They say they approached a man and woman matching descriptions given to them by store security guards. The video shows the disturbing detainment of that woman after she was pepper sprayed, taken to the ground while trying to record on her own cell phone the video of that incident. Both. And he also puts his knee on her. I mean, he's treating her like she's some kind of violent criminal. Though if she was white and had a gun and shooting up the store, cops would be, you know, talking her down and treating her, you know, like a buddy. Because cops love to do that with white mass shooters shooting up places where uh, black people mostly frequent. Deputies involved have been reassigned from field dep duty uh, as a review is underway this morning. Uh, community leaders, including Community Action League, as well as others, plan to protest here. At how, how messed up that cops can commit crimes, and instead of being punished, they're just reassigned to a different department. It would be like a cop uh, beating up a patient. I mean, not a cop, but a doctor beating up a patient and then the hospital just assigning him to a different wing of the hospital instead of firing them. Uh, people normally go to jail when they assault people, not get rewarded. At the grocery store, 5 o'clock tonight. Now, the L.A. County Sheriff's Department says the couple was cited, but they have not told KTLA 5 News what it was for. They're doing a full investigation. They were more, uh, most likely cited for obstruction of justice or some other BS uh, citation or charge uh, cops like to give people when they know they can't charge them with anything else. And those charges usually get dropped in court because everybody knows it's BS. Investigation to see if the use of force was reasonable and appropriate. Take a look at this. They released this statement saying, quote, an objective review of the incident will be conducted to determine if the force used was reasonable, necessary, appropriate, and proportional to the level of actions described. We take the use of force very seriously and are determined to establish the facts of the incident. Okay, they obviously watched the video because they released it. They know he used excessive force. Yet they want to pretend that they're going to review it and do something about it when so far they haven't done anything to him when they could, you know, charge him with assault or fire him from the police department. Now back out here live in Lancaster, I have Christian Green who is joining us this morning live and he is a community activist with this group. Uh, so many pastors and activists coming together. First of all, thank you for talking to us. No problem. No problem. Thank you for um, being out here and reporting um, about what's going on out here in the Antelope Valley. I have to start off with this. Have you been in contact with the husband and wife? How are they? What are they saying? Yeah, so we are waiting to hear back from them. Uh, we believe that they are uh, afraid of being responsive right now because of retaliation. We've seen this numerous of times out here in the Antelope Valley where something happens and the families go uh, quiet. So we are praying for them. We are hopeful that they come out today. Um, yeah, and, and a lot of places where cops are extremely corrupt, especially like uh, California, where there is a rampant amount of cop gangs. They love to retaliate against anyone who like files a complaint or anything. They will harass people, stalk them, uh, file uh, false charges against people, and do all sorts of criminal things. And they get away with it because they're the cops. And our system loves to allow the cops to be as corrupt and as abusive as possible. Um, and so we'll be keeping, uh, keeping on reaching out to them.
And Christian, what are the demands that you have for the county sheriff's deputies and the whole department? Yeah, uh, first and foremost is the immediate removal of that officer involved. I believe his name is Officer Trevor King. Uh, we also want the removal of our uh, local captain, John LaCravian. Um, it's time for him to really step down uh, since he's been here. There's been nothing but a lot of different egregious uh, incidents as that, that have been happening with his officers and no accountability. Um, and lastly, we want Winko to think about their policies um, with their loss prevention officers, uh, their in-house on how they treat our customers. Most of the customers that come here are black and brown, if not only black. I used to live around this corner from here and we used to come here all the time. And so for them to treat this family like that, I think that there is a huge uh, accountability accountability issue that needs to be taking place even within Winko itself. On the other side of the story, I have to ask, there was an alleged robbery. There are some questions as to what was that all about, and then you're claiming obviously brutal force in your own yeah. words. Um, are you saying clearly you think this was racially motivated? Why? Oh, absolutely. Um, I think that uh, when we look at how people are handled, uh, most of the mishandling occurs with black folks black children. So we've had this happen at Lancaster High School where an officer body slammed um, a young uh, young student. Now we're here, we're having a, a, a older black Yeah, uh, school resource officers are some of the worst cops, uh, especially when it does come towards uh, black kids and other kids of color. They love to abuse them for any reason, you know, a kid burps in class, here comes a cop to break their arm. A kid uh, has a couple cartons of milk, here comes a cop to throw them against the wall. Uh, a kid, you know, drops a few crumbs of cookies onto the floor, here comes a cop to body slam them. And it's like, why as a society are people allowing cops to treat kids like this? And where is the right wing to uh, scream and cry about how the kids are not being protected by cops, but being abused by cops? You don't hear anything about that because it's black kids that are being abused. Black family, a black woman body slammed again with the knee in her neck and then mace and then punch. So there has to be some type of a disconnect with our officers as well with our black communities. And so it's time for us to really talk about it. Race is an issue. Let's hold this. Uh, let's talk about the truth. And the truth is black folks are being harmed in the Antelope Valley. Okay. Thank you so much, Christian. I really appreciate that. Yes,